Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos, but it's Friday evening. I just got back from a walk with my friend Kate and I'm so cozy. I'm in my Lunia jammies, as you can see. I'm literally so relaxed. Um, and I'm gonna watch the new Kardashians episode and then make some dinner and just have a really nice relaxing night. I'm starting the weekend vlog here because we're just gonna have a chill, cozy night in. Um, and it's just gonna be a fun little weekend in Chicago, fall weekend. So I wanted to pop on and start the vlog. Today was a really good day. I had a productive work day and then I deep cleaned our apartment. And yeah, Kate and I started the day with a good w coffee and walk and then also ended the day with that. So that felt really good. Um, but yeah, other than that, just like in the grind of work. My plans this weekend include the farmer's market, going out to lunch tomorrow, starting and finishing the new Colleen Hoover book, all of the things. So yeah, welcome to the weekend of my life. Previously on a Kardashian. We've got our licorice tea ready for bed. And you guys, I'm obsessed with this lip oil. It is the best. You guys. I am literally obsessed with Nora, the mom and the watcher, um, played by Naomi Watts. And in the show, I've been like literally telling Blake, obsessed. I'm obsessed. Like her style is so good. And the whole time I've been like, oh my God, she's so chic. Like I love her outfits and she was wearing something and she had like a shawl on and I was like, oh my God, I could totally recreate that. Like literally I can recreate all of her outfits. And then she takes the shawl off and she is wearing the same exact Lunia jammies as me. And I was like, oh my God. I'm her. No, she is me. No, I just said to Blake, I was like, oh my God, Blake, I told you literally her style is my style. And that was just so crazy. Anyways, okay, we're gonna have dessert and go to bed. So see you in the AM. Good morning guys, off to the farmers. I'm just in a little all white outfit. These pants are Everlane. This top is a piece apart. And I ended up putting a little lip balm on. I feel like my face is so puffy this morning. I think it's because of how I slept. I slept on a pillow. I shouldn't have done. For some reason, Farmer's Hall, lots of apples. We love apples, you guys. And we, wait, this will last us two, three, four, five, six days. An onion that I'm gonna roast, radishes and turnips. This is a goat's cheese that's coated in um, basil. What is it? It's pesto. No, it's yeah, she said pesto. Didn't she? No, basil garlic. I don't know, but it's good. Um, Mushrooms, yeah, we also go through this many mushrooms. There's a lot of mushrooms, but we'll eat them in a week. Um, broccoli and some cauliflower, and then I just have been loving the rainbow chard lately. It's so good. Breakfast sandwich for Bee in the Works. Homemade little sesame bun and egg rounds. Makings of an amazing breakfast sandwich. This is cheese and a sun-dried tomato spread. It's gonna be amazing. And then, hold on, mushrooms. So I'm gonna put this. Ooh, baby. Cheese is getting nice and melted. And then this is crispy pancetta. Like, are you kidding? The egg is over easy. It's gonna go right there. Then we're gonna put crispy pancetta and the mushrooms on top. And I think, it's gonna be really damn good. Hello, you guys, we're home. We just went to lunch. We went to the Athenian room and we walked to Big Fat Cookie and then we walked from Big Fat Cookie to Athenian room. So we did a lot of walking today, but it was really good. Um, show you guys what cookies we got. 
but I'm also making cookies, so we might just freeze these. We honestly just wanted to go because Big Fat Cookie has different cookies at their storefront than they have in Fox Frog, so. Mm. Okay, so, oatmeal raisin. And chocolate chip. Yummy. And then I also made chocolate chip cookies that I'm gonna get ready and then bake. So that's the vibe. First, I'm gonna shower though. Hi guys, I just got out of the shower. I'm so cozy now. And I wanted to show you how I'm keeping my skin glowy and radiant this winter, despite the cold and dry weather. So first of all, this Everyday Shea by Alafia, I think that's how you say it. This brand is absolutely amazing. I love both their body lotion and their um, body wash. It's also really affordable. So I feel like this, like this big thing is like $10 or something. So I feel like this is a really great thing for everyone. Plus it's like all natural, made with shea butter. It's so good and it's like thick and lush. I just love it. If you're looking for something even thicker, go for the Willetta. I love this stuff too. I put it on before bed. Um, my body just gets really dry, so I put this on before bed. I just put this on after a shower, um, and I use the body wash in the shower as well. Then, rose water is great, especially since I'm doing tretinoin on the days that I use tretinoin, I don't use toner, just because it dries out my skin even more, I use rose water. So I feel like it's a just like less harsh version of um, like a uh, rose hip or um, a witch hazel. Then I've been obsessed with the Gesso, um hair oil. It's so good. I am like such a Shu Umera girl, tried and true, but I've been loving to switch it up with this lately. And then this is their face oil. They actually sent it to me, but I'm really particular about what I put on my face. So I've been putting it on my cuticles, but honestly, obviously you don't have to get this. Just get a cuticle oil because our cuticles get so dry in the winter. Then just a simple swap I'm making. I'm swapping my hydrogel cream by Honest Beauty for the deep hydration face cream. And yeah. Okay. We're going to relax, watch the watcher, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. are in the wash a little sunday vibe we're not sheets cleaners on sundays should we become should we start washing the sheets twice a week yeah okay um how'd you sleep i slept like a baby i slept well yeah it was good and blake's got his little cappuccino or as my dad likes mm -hmm. to call them cappuccinos <laughs> my dad calls cappuccinos cappuccinos <laughs> isn't that so weird I love it. Um, I don't know, it means a cappuccino. Is there enough milk in for cappuccino? No, it's like a short cappuccino. Flat white. Flat white is a short flat white. Milk. I don't know. What's your guys' coffee drink of choice? I'm actually really curious. Comment it down below. Mine is obviously a cold brew with half and half. This is my first, I'm gonna have two coffees today. This is number one. I wish we had a sparkling water machine. You literally had one and then you sold it. I know. For but like honestly, 10 bucks. like we do not need more appliances. Think about it. We have, let's talk about it. We have the coffee machine, we have the air fryer, you bought us a sous vide, we have my KitchenAid, we have the Vitamix, we have the Nutribullet. That's crust, but it seems to be the thing that we use the most. What else do we have? Well, that's the stuff I like to buy. Should we talk about all your coats that you're buying? Do you need 18 coats? Listen, it's winter here for eight months, so I think I do. It's not, though. Yeah, it is. I'm a cold girl. I run cold. You know what? Fine. Fine. I relent. Give it. Fine. Whatever. 
You know what I want? What? The Breville, um, like, toaster oven. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get that, but when we get that, we're gonna have to get rid of that because we have to have matching. No. Yes. They're still matching. They're no, still they're not. Black and chrome. No. The Breville toaster oven is full stainless steel. Yeah, it's literally it's all stainless. black. It's all black. Yeah. I want that Breville toaster oven now. Oh, I forgot about my favorite appliance, the juicer. Also, which we use every day. You do. I, do. I love my juicer. But we use this every day. But the next espresso machine I get, I mean, it'll probably be a while, is the one they just came out with, the Breville Impress. Guys, he gets so horny for this stuff. He literally loves it. It's like. See, this is. It's good that I didn't buy the other Breville because this new one is so much better. It literally presses it's so for mean. you, and it tells you how like hard you've pressed it. Nice. But think about it, like you don't have to do the whole. You can. So, yeah. You don't need to. Very nice. It does it for you. Our doorman. <laughs> He's so good. I love him. He always goes very nice, very nice. I feel <laughs> great. <laughs> Lots of energy. We need to take him some cookies. Except, is there one that's like a Hazzy's? That one we can't give away. The one I ate. Oh, good. Mm. Yeah. Enjoy all, all my cookies. Like, do you know how much stuff we have? We have two cinnamon buns in the fridge that you still haven't touched. That you were like, no, 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 oh, no. I forgot about those. Yeah, I knew you would. Blake does this thing where he forgets about things that we put in our fridge. Okay, Blake, yes, what? Yes, the endless pit of death. Like, there's so much shit in there. And then everything dies and it goes bad. No, it doesn't. Food literally never goes bad in our fridge. I pride myself on never throwing food away. We eat what we have. Unless it's my food. Yeah, exactly. And then it gets swallowed in there, and I'm like, it doesn't I don't get even swallowed. know it's mine. Okay, so what are three items you're loving right now? Go quick, because then I'm going to start my workout. Oh, three items. Uh, I've been doing aloe moves. You love it. I like it. I've been doing the meditation. I've been, I'll do like the hit classes or whatever on them. She's looking at her shirt. Go Irish. I told him to wear that and then maybe people will think of it to Notre Dame. Definitely did not. Dame. Okay, so you're Going loving. better school. So you're loving. Iowa. So you're loving Alamos. Yes. Okay. What else? Um, While you're thinking. I'm loving this lip stuff. I know I've talked about it, but I really love this lip oil by just so honestly, they're honey infused. Products just get me so good. Ah, I love them. I'm loving a Japanese with Japanese whiskey old fashioned. Okay. What are you loving about that? I don't know. It just they make really it makes a really good old fashioned. And okay. I think it's just because it's not as like harsh of a like whiskey. Whiskey, yeah. And it like pairs well with just some bitters and a little bit of uh, like maple syrup. I can get behind that. Can you? Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Like so. I don't want any. I usually try your old fashions. I, know. I am loving my second item that I'm loving. Oh, Nora's style from The Watcher, obviously. But to be more specific, I'm loving monochromatic outfits that are shades of neutrals. So like, for example, yesterday when we went out to lunch, I was wearing an all white outfit, which like, I know I don't live in Mykonos, but I was feeling those vibes. Silk pants, just a white t-shirt, and then a hat, one of those hats that I got in Peru. And then just like cozy little, those Ugg slip-on thingies. And I just felt so cute. And I did get outfit compliments. I use it still myself. And honestly, I told Blake this. I was like, nothing hits like an outfit compliment. Like, someone could be like, you're the most beautiful girl in the world I've ever seen. And I would be like, you're weird. But then if they give me an outfit compliment, I'm like, thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Anyways, that's so that's my second thing that I love. What's your third? I don't even know. <laughs> hey, um. Honestly, coffee. I'm enjoying Come this. on, give us something here. 
something better. Um, if I said my coffee, it'd be okay, but because you said it, I'm like, no, give us something better. What's well, like a material item you're loving? We're all materialistic thoughts, so give us something. I'm sure not to. Uh, As he's talking about like everything he wants to buy. Uh, you sound like my dad. My dad's almost like, probably I don't care about you. What what have I bought recently? You're loving those ATM t-shirts. ATM t-shirts I like a lot. So I, I I like having like a specific clothing item that like fits well and I like and it's a like good quality. But I like to have like five of those. Yep. Try so. and true. You're tried and true type guy. Yeah. And so let me just give you some backstory on this. I probably already told the vlog this and I'm like, shut the fuck up but maybe I didn't. Um, so about a year ago, I bought like a t-shirt from the brand ATM. They make such great t-shirts. Also, I think my exposure is too high. Yeah, they make such great t-shirts, especially men's t-shirts. So I bought him one at Nordstrom, came back and gave it to him. He's like, yeah, it's fine. Well, initially it was. And you were like, oh, it's a little too small. No, 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 it was a little baggy. A little baggy. I just, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. remember. Yeah. I don't know. He does this bad. with everything. I bought him a pair of frame jeans. He wait, did wait. the same thing. He hated it and then he loved it. I bought him so, a. So, ATM shirts are all cotton. And it was a little baggy. And then when I washed it and dried it, and then it like tightened up a little bit. Yeah. And it fit me great. Yep. And the good thing is, as you wash them more, it doesn't like, the shirts don't get all gross. And I think um, a lot of the polyester type shirts get kind of gross and like frilly yeah. and stuff. No, polyester gets static. Oh. Polyester's fucking gross. I'm sorry, guys, don't support that. What? Well, outfit's like- No, it's not, it's Lycra. So what's- Lululemon doesn't use polyester. What does it use? They use their, they engineer their own fabrics. They do. No, I'm saying, what is in it though? Well, this is, this is the um. What's stretching? I don't know, but you know what? All I'll say plastic is plastic stretchy material. But what can I? Yeah, go for it. What I was gonna say is that when fine, Blake got me on the athlete or athletic wear, whatever. But I think especially like if you're shopping and you're like oh, polyester, so much cheaper. You guys get on the real real. Okay. Not spots, but I'm not kidding you like no actually they should because it's a really great way to shop sustainably and save money and I just think it makes like really high quality stuff accessible to a lot more people I'm not saying it makes it accessible to everyone because their prices are still not like the lowest but anyways So there's that But anyways, so you're loving the ATM shirts. So would you say that if a girl is watching and she has a boyfriend, she has a fiance, she has a man, or maybe even a brother. Would you recommend that they get them for like any holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever? Yeah. Uh, Halloween, if you really need other. I'm uh, especially impressed with this Halloween, by the way. Well, you're gonna be disappointed. I was thinking about it, I was like, I should try and hoodwink Blake into getting me a Halloween present. Yeah, you get me a present. I did. You did it. Yeah, I did. You did it. Of course I did. It's I'm not me. getting you a present. <laughs> I already got you like three presents and you could count those for Halloween. Okay. What present did you get me? Uh, I got you headphones. headphones. A braided little gift. I love it. I got you, well, this was a while ago, that tea kettle. That was like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a year ago. That was like four or five months. Six months ago. ago. Six Cutie? Still, still counts. Oh my god! That's in the past year. Oh my god. Wait, no, I got you something else. What was it? You got me this necklace in Italy? Yeah. No, there's something else. I feel like I could have been given to buying me a lot of shit and all oh, this. Yeah, I the just put stuff on your credit card. Yeah, you did buy me. You put things on my credit card? Like, you'll put like croissants on my credit card. I'm like, I didn't. Ask okay, them. the croissants are one thing, but I actually but, put stuff on your credit card. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, we'll talk about that off film. Um, but. Anyway. 
no wait i was gonna say oh my current my third favorite because then i have to go my third favorite is i'm absolutely obsessed with um my animal spirit deck the kim crayons um animal spirit deck she makes tarot cards and i've been doing her animal spirit cards every morning that with the journey to the heart book that duo is like a morning routine must for me right now i even had blake do the animal spirit cards this morning did you like it he got the sea serpent yeah would you get those before we were together i got them at the farmer's market at the gold, at coast. The gold coast okay i'll see you guys um i'm going to a yoga class so i'll see you guys after hello you guys i just got home from a walk with my friends post yoga i literally just like came home showered and put on cutes and we went for a long walk and got coffee it was so good i went with my friend kate and then our friends preet and chris so that was great blake went for a run and went to the gym and so now he's eating lots of foods he's got going on and i'm about to make a big fruit bowl i have a green juice here and it's just a good little sunday like I just feel like life is good today and I'm going to spend the day reading. I'm reading the new Colleen Hoover book and I like it. Um, I'm not so far into it yet. I need to. You and every single person on Instagram. I know. Um, but I don't know. I can't stop imagining Atlas if you're reading the book as Ed Sheeran. So that's what happened and it ends with us too. So it's kind of a problem because it just <laughs> taints the book a little bit. Um. Blake's like, what the fuck? Every <laughs> character is... Wait, why? Is there Ginger? I think he is, but I don't remember. I don't know. I just started imagining him as that in the last book. But yeah, we're just chilling. I love Sundays for just like chilling. Like we're going to make a really nice meal tonight because we had leftovers last night. And we're going to read, relax, probably go for another walk. But yeah, um, my camera's dying. So I might actually end the vlog here. And start like a new little Sunday night vlog. Um, Cause then I can get this edited and uploaded for you guys. Um, but I love you and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye guys.